This is the story of an alley cat. He'd visit some houses and sometimes a flat. And each house that he'd visit, they'd give him a name and something to eat to give thanks that he came. The first house he'd visit lived old Mrs. Jones, who liked pirates so much that she'd call the cat Bones. And a parrot would squawk and cry, Pieces of eight! as she'd serve up for Bones eight pieces of cake. Next door, number two, lived a little girl, Molly, who called the cat Sooty and pushed him round like a dolly. And she'd push him all day in the sweltering heat. And every so often, she'd give Sooty a sweet. And number three lived a woman with a snake and a lizard who could do magical things and she called the cat Wizard. She could make instruments play, violins and a flute. And for dinner, young Wizard ate a freshly caught newt. At number four lived a family who'd love to watch telly. So much they don't wash, they even call the cat Smelly. And they'd watch all their programs from dusk until dawn. And the family and Smelly would share toffee popcorn. At number five lived an inventor, Professor Patel, who claims his contraption could get rid of any smell. And he fed the cat special soap and put him through the machine. And once he came out, Patel called him clean. At number six lived the man who would love to go to space. He'd sit inside a homemade rocket but you'd never see his face. And he calls the cat Blibbly, Martian work for Phil. And Blibbly and the man would eat roast chicken in the pill. At number seven lived an artist whose nickname was Fred. His favourite colour is green, but he calls the cat red. And he feeds the cat biscuits, left old and gone stale. And he doesn't paint with brushes, he paints with Red's tail. At number eight lived Roberto, an Italian cook, who called the cat pizza, and from his cookbook, he fed the cat meatballs, spaghetti and cheese, until pizza's belly went down to his knees. At number nine lived a teacher by the name of Miss Wyatt, who called the cat greedy and said it's time for a diet. She said all of these things that you've eaten before have left you so big you can't fit through the door. And number 10's the last place where the cat had no name. It's a big cardboard box, but it would keep out the rain. And if you stop to think, this is where the tale ends. The cat's always hungry, so he'll go and see his friends. <laughs>